Bonjour! Do you know how to say nose and eyes and ears? Well, in today's video, we are going to learn just this and we are going to play a game together. As always, there is a support guide available with this lesson. Just click on the join button and you have access to all the support guides that I produce with all the videos that are produced for YouTube. Okay, so the way we are going to do that is quite simple. I'm going to show you a picture and we are going to learn the words together. Today, it's all about the body, but not just the body, the face only. Okay, and what we are going to do once we run through all the words that I want you to learn, we are going to play a game. I'm going to show you another face and you will have to practice with me the words that you've just learned using the first image. So let's have a look at this image. Right, we can see a lady. So we can name this lady Un. We are going to say it's une femme. Une femme, a woman. Okay, now let's have a look at the parts of the face I would like you to learn. Now, which one would you like to learn? Shall we start with, uh, well, let's start with the hair, shall we? Now, the hair in French is les cheveux. Les Cheveux. Here we go. Les cheveux. You do not pronounce the X at the end of the word. Can you say that? Les cheveux. Les cheveux. Now, for example, if you wanted to say she has black hair, you would then therefore say elle a les cheveux noirs, for example. Okay? Elle a les cheveux noirs, noir being black. So what I would like you to try to do is when you have a word, I would like you to try to make a mini sentence out of that. For example, I have blonde hair. I don't, but if you wanted to say, then start with j'ai. J'ai les cheveux Blond. So here we go. Les cheveux blonds, for example. Now, can you say les cheveux? Très bien. Remember this very well. Remember this because I will ask you in a minute during the game to remember this word. Les cheveux. Now, let's go on to another word. Shall we go for ears or one ear? So let's go with one ear. Here we go. Une oreille. Une oreille. And of course, if you've got two ears, deux oreilles. And if you want to say ears, les oreilles. Les oreilles. So, une oreille, les cheveux. Shall we go for Eyes now. Eyes. Now, this one is very interesting. If you only want to say one eye, you would say un oeil. Un oeil. But it's a bit like foot and feet. One foot, two feet. In French, we have the same for eyes. We say un oeil and the word changes completely when we have two eyes. So, we are talking about... If we talk about both, les yeux, les yeux. So, in that same uh, type of sentence we made with les cheveux, can you make your own sentence using les yeux? For example, she has brown eyes. Elle a, elle a les yeux. Marron, you could say marron. Ou alors, elle a les yeux bruns. Okay? Now, notice how brun has an S here at the end because we're referring to a plural noun. Marron doesn't 
it never has an S or an E added to it. You just have to know that. So here we go. Les cheveux, les yeux, les oreilles, les oreilles. One thing, when it comes to color, they always come after the noun, okay? So brown hair becomes hair brown, blonde hair, hair blonde, black eyes, eyes black, and so on, okay? Now, let's have a look at another word. So we've done so far les cheveux, we've done so far les yeux. I would rather you learn it les yeux rather than un oeil, okay? Because you're more likely to talk about your eye color. Let's have a look at the nose the nose. Now remember these words really well because in a minute I'm going to ask you to remember them. So here we go. The nose. And I'm going to... Ah! I don't... Okay, let's les yeux. Okay. There you go. I'm going to go like this. It's easier. Okay. Here we go. Le ou un nez. Un nez. Okay, you do not pronounce, you do not pronounce the uh, Z of ne. Okay, so, une is a, yeah, un is a nose. One is a feminine, the other one is for a masculine word. And yes, indeed, even for body parts, we have feminine and masculine. You will notice which ones is what. Une is feminine, un is is masculine and un noeud for one eye is also masculine. Now let's have a look at another word. I would like now to point at the lips. Now the lips, because there are two of them, I'm going to use the plural. So here we go. So the lips, les lèvres, les lèvres. Okay, when I say les, it means the plural, okay? Equally, if you wanted to use the indefinite article, you would say des, des cheveux. You would say des lèvres. You would say des yeux. It works as well, okay? So, des lèvres ou les lèvres, okay? It's lips, les lèvres rouges. And as a matter of fact, lipstick is Rouge à lèvres, red for lips, rouge à lèvres. Okay, and I'm going to, uh, not quite and now, but show you the teeth. Now the teeth again, because there are more than one, we are going to start with les ou des, if you wanted to say some. Des dents, des dents, okay, des dents. So here we go. So far we have des ou les cheveux, une oreille, here's l'oreille, des yeux, so we've got des cheveux, un nez, des lèvres, les ou des dents, you can say des as well, it works as well. And another word I would like you to learn today, and then that will be it. I would like you to learn this part, the eyebrows. So let's have a look for the eyebrows. Les sourcils. Les sourcils. But it can be des sourcils. Now, sourcils are above the cils. And the cils are the eyelashes, okay? Les cils. But les sourcils are the eyebrows. Sourcils. Sourcils. Okay? So, let's have a look at the words again. And in a minute, we're going to play a little game together. We have des cheveux. Can you say that? Des Cheveux. Equally, you can say les cheveux. Les yeux. Can you say that? Les yeux. Très bien. Une oreille ou les oreilles. Don't forget to put an S at the end if you want it in the plural form. Un nez. Un nez ou le nez if you wanted to say the nose. 
les dents, les dents ou des dents. Ok Les dents. Et pour finir, les sourcils. Sourcils. Ok Because you have the word sil inside that word. Sourcils. Ok Which means eyelashes. Ok Right. How confident are you now? Because I would like you to have a go. Let's have a look at this picture. Way Crazy. Ok So, We're not doing the body parts. This is another video. We are doing the face here. So, I want you to name this for me. Can you name this word for me? Now, remember, we can say dé ou lé. Let's have a look. Think about that one. What was it? Hmm. Do you want some help? It's not with the shirt. More help. Je veux. Très bien. Les cheveux. And remember, j'ai les cheveux noirs. J'ai les cheveux blonds. J'ai les cheveux marrons, etc., etc. Les cheveux. Now, let me point at this guy's ears. Remember what it was? Okay, let's start. If it's two ears, we are going to say les. And I'm going to help you. I feel that I need to help you. O. Ré. Ye. And you know the funny fact? Do you know how we say a pillow in French? As in a pillow you find in a bed. Oreiller. So all you need to do is add an R at the end, E-R. So oreiller, where you put your ears on top. It's quite simple to remember. Les oreillers. And les oreilles. <laughs> so, yes, les oreilles. Now let's have a look at the lips now. Shall we do the lips now? Yeah, okay. The lips here, okay. Les. Yeah, what was the word again? Yes. Lèvre. Lèvre. Bravo. Super. Les lèvres. Très bien. Les lèvres. So, les cheveux. Les oreilles. Les lèvres. So, let's have a look at his teeth here. Now, remember. Now, it's very easy to remember teeth. Because when you have tooth problem and you're when you want to have a checkup, you go to the dentist. Well done. And the beginning of dentist is dent. Okay. So if we have more than one, les. Les dents. We don't say dents, we say dents. And when we say dentist, we say dentiste. Les dents. Euh, les dents pour le dentiste. Très bien. Now, how about the eyes? The eyes. So, these are the eyes. Les, and I want the plural version. Les, les, start with a z sound, but really, it has a y. Les yeux. Très bien. Les yeux. Bravo. Les yeux. Très bien. And one eye is un oeil. Les yeux. Bravo. OK. So, on va continuer. Attention. What about his nose? His nose. Le. Le. I'm going to write on his hand. There you go. Start with a ne, just like nose. And it has an S at the... Uh, not an S. What am I talking about? A Z. OK. Le. Nez. And we don't say nez. We say le nez. Le nez. Et on va finir avec le dernier mot. Remember what eyebrows was? Eyebrows was... Because we have two, we are going to write les. Les sourcils. Les sourcils. Très bien. Les sourcils. Bravo. Let's repack cap and then in a minute I'll ask you to translate a couple of sentences for me. So listen carefully. Les 
cheveux, have a look at the way we spell that. I'm going to underline it here so we know that we are talking about this one. Les sourcils, do you remember what that was? Eyebrows. Les oreilles, the ear. Les lèvres, it's the lips. Le nez, très bien, it's the nose. Les dents, très bien, it's the teeth. Les Yeux. Très bien. Now, can you translate this sentence for me? Are you ready? Il a les yeux verts et les cheveux noirs. Elle a les cheveux blonds et un petit nez rose. <laughs> Random. OK. So let's have a look at the first sentence. Il a les yeux verts, that's the color, et les cheveux Noir. What do you think that means? Indeed, he has, he has green eyes. Now remember the colors come after the noun. And black hair. Now, but let's have a look at the next one. The next one is interesting. Elle a, so she has blonde hair. Les cheveux blonds et and, un petit nez rose. So, nez is the word you want, which is a nose. But we've got two adjectives. One is before the noun, the other one is after the noun. After the noun is the color, pink, rose, okay? Because it's a color, it comes after the noun. However, the word petit, interestingly enough, comes before the noun, and it means small. And there are a few adjectives in French that come before the noun. There are not that many of it, uh, of them. And if you follow my videos on the bags and the placement of adjectives, you will know which one come before. But most of them come after the noun. So let's have a look and let's recap our words again one last time, just to see whether you got that right. Very excited. I can't wait for your comments here and tell me whether you can describe yourself. So let's have a look. Let's use this blue. Here we go. Les cheveux. Les cheveux. Les yeux. Les yeux. Les sourcils, les sourcils, le nez, le nez, les lèvres, les lèvres, les oreilles, les oreilles. Les dents. Les dents. Now, today I would like you to concentrate on this. We will do another video on other parts of the body where we are going to learn how to say the forehead and the mouth and the chin and the neck and the shoulders, but it's not in this video. If you want the support guide for this video, it's absolutely possible. Why don't you check my community and the join button? Now, remember, there is an Instagram account, which is quite popular. I would like you to have a look at that, where you learn mini sentences and mini words like that all the time. Revise your words all the time, okay, and learn them with the article, les, or de, or le, or la, or un, or une. The difference is quite simple. One means the, the other ones means a, okay? That's it. That's it for me. Au revoir, à bientôt. Bisous, bisous.